In this tutorial, we will discuss computer security. Computer security is a valid concern for your computer. There are many tools that you can use to secure your computer. Some of these tools include an antivirus scanner, a personal firewall, malware prevention software, and Windows Update. Antivirus software prevents viruses and spyware from infecting your computer. For this tutorial, we have selected AVG Antivirus Software. This program is one of the most downloaded programs on the internet. It's also very easy to use, and best of all, it's free. This is a screenshot of the AVG Antivirus Scanner. Another component that affects the computer security is malware. For this tutorial, we have selected Spyware Doctor as our malware prevention software. Spyware Doctor senses, eliminates, and defends your personal computer for several thousands of potential threats, including keyloggers, spyware, and trojans. Some of the key features of this software include comprehensive malware protection and advanced detection and removal technology. This screenshot shows you the various features of Spyware Doctor. For example, you can scan your computer and you can immunize your computer against various threats. This screenshot indicates that your computer has been infected you can now proceed to remove these threats. An additional security precaution to your computer is a personal firewall. Zone Alarm is a great firewall that can protect your computer from viruses and malware. Some of the key feature of Zone Alarm's personal firewall is the ability to block unauthorized users from accessing your computer. One also has the ability to become invisible from other users on the computer. The last element that can protect your computer against security threats is Windows Update. Windows Update is a service by Microsoft that provides general updates and security updates for a user's computer. A user can access Windows Update by going to www.windowsupdate.com. Once a user gets to Windows Update, he can select which updates he would like to install on his computer. This concludes our tutorial. We hope that you have found the information that we have provided to be useful.